Hello friends. Once again, welcome to PSUtrainings.com. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the important utility which every administrator must be knowing about it, called log analysis utility. If you work as an administrator, one thing scares you, especially when you're new in administration, IP and EPMA, the tons of log files and which log file one should refer. Right, there are close to 400 log files. Identify the right log file and looking into the error, it's really a critical task and time consuming as well. Considering this, Aureka has released a utility called log analysis, which is your job a lot. So let's talk about this utility and see a couple of examples. This utility is primarily released with 11.1.2.3. Prior to that, it used to come as patch, which will help you to play around and filter the records available in your log file. So it allows you to lie slice and dice the data available in your log file it is indeed a versatile ut utility especially when you into troubleshooting activities in hyperion so this utility provide you a couple of parameters you can find this utility under epma user one bin and once you run this utility it render the html file so this is a path under which you can find under epma oracle middleware home user project epm system one bin Right, and you if you run this utility alone, it will create a summary report in HTML format for all the uh, you know all the log files, all parameter. It create a summary report under diagnostic report folder. However, if you like to see what are different parameters are available with this, you can simply type this log file and press enter. Right, these are the different parameters are available. There are multiple options are available. In order to make it easy to understand, I'm going to simplify this parameter for you. Now there are different kind of errors, and accordingly you need to filter out what piece of information you like to figure out. So these are the different parameters. Let's talk about all of them one by one. First, you decide the type of messages you like to capture. It's an error messages, warning, notification, or incidents error. So you can pass minus m and define the kind of error message you like to consider. For example, I like to see only error messages, right? So you can log analysis minus m. You can pass error. This is used extensively. You also like to find out the error occurred during a certain time period. So you can use a minus t and define the timestamp. This is a format of time you can use. You may also like to see the error occurred in last two hours, three hours, 60 minutes, 70 minutes. We can pass a team in. You can also use time, T date, to specify number of days, time. I like to see error occurred today, T date one. Error occurred in last 30 minutes, team in 30, right? So this way you confine your attention, confine your focus so that you can figure out the error quickly. You also like to figure out the errors on certain string minus s in double quotes you can pass in a string parameter like null pointer exception java learn point null pointer exception out of memory exception exception uh, fail to connect database there are some common errors which we find it very often day to day life so you can find using string and pass the type of error you're looking into in addition to this as per oracle standard oracle create a context id error context id Right, exception uh, execution context ID. So you can specify execution context ID as well. You can further confine to max size. And last parameter is important. As I said, log analysis utility render the HTML report, right, in a readable format. So you can define outline file name as well. If you don't define, system uses own name with a timestamp and name of your timestamp it uses. And log analysis postfix.html. Let's see. So, what would you like to know the moment you start your services? I prefer when I start my services, I like to see these four log files in the beginning. But in addition to this, there are tons of log files. The moment you start your services, the recommended you should look the log file pertaining to any error which occurred during a starter. So you look at the starter log file. Let me show you. Today only I started my server a few hours before. So you see I would have a set of log files under 
EPMA system one diagnostic log under your starter. If you sort by time, you see today at 8th of August, I started my server at 438. I click on this and read the message. I started my SB server, so time taken is two seconds. You also see a log file. There are type of log file called error, ERR, uh, and output. Right, so I would like to see a summary log file over here. I started and started my server multiple times. So you can watch this log, log files. This log file talk about stopper. All the services get stopped when I invoke. I think I stopped my HyPN services on these other HyPN services get stopped. You see, and the time taken. So it's pretty nice summary information about what is happening in your system. This is the first log file one should look into, right? Then you prefer to look at the second, the services log file. The services log file tell tell you about what services are up running, what services have issues. Like in couple of the services, I've got some issue. I'll debug into this in detail, but I can just open this log file reporting analysis services. You see ERR is an error file. OUT is the out, output file. So I see I, I have a couple of services on my GSM service is not working i'll figure it out what is causing it but as of now i see the error is dsm service not working i'll take this string and later on i pass this an argument right so there could be tons of error tons of log file you need some time to span to start learning them right or you have a outline otl output log file you have error log file so we are more concerned about error log file so I could see a message over here administration service may not be running just few minutes before I, I connected to SB server uh, and it was not running and try to fetch the application so I found this error message you're more confined to see the running running mode started mode isn't it admin mode resume mode running mode started mode these are different modes in which your server transit from start to end so this is second log file third log file you prefer to run pertaining to your product specific log file and server specific product specific log file you can find under um, user project diagnostic log you can go to user project diagnostic log for example let's use a log file pertaining to space so i open as space application specific log or application specific log or generic log so sbs.log file contain all the log file for across all application right i could see every time user connected disconnected the information being recorded over here whatever activity you do it is being recorded into this log file right reading this log file in a whole let's take you ages so we need to have some mechanism through which we can simplify this database started you know so this is one log file this is database specific application product specific log file in addition to this you can see the server log file as well right so server log file you can find under user project domain epm you can see server log file that shows the four log file you should look into domain user project domain epm system one user project domain epm system your server then select a server for example I like to see the log file pertaining to sp server sp server admin services log this is a log file pertaining to sp server i sort by date the latest log file i have for uh, 11th of august i can click on this and look at the scroll down and look at the error code so you see the huge number of log files are available there are number of reason the error may occurred <laughs> debugging this will take you ages so we can use log analysis utility we ease your job let's see how it work so log analysis utility found under user project under bin log analysis let me start and we discuss what are the parameters it has it 
has four parameters type of message timestamp string and ecid you can also control the output in which the data is going to transfer the final output report is going to be prepared okay let me run the first script i like to see the all the error system error available under my sb server okay. so i call log analysis i like to system error so i pass argument system right for to date in last one day all the error occurred under my sb server so i can pass this argument sorry antagonistic log sbase i pass this folder this folder will be taken as an argument and log file will be rendered for this folder on a system error for one day before i run this it ran so fast under diagonistic you see report a report get created log analysis followed by the timestamp today at 527 right when i open this i see the list you see the summary at the top log analysis report right timestamp general report date filter for one date log file scan the 11 log file um 11 second Line level file get scanned with zero second. Okay, number of error, number of incidents, messages are found. So you can see this log message, no record found, and which log file get, which log files, you know, contain the error message. The so name of the log file mentioned over here. This is a pretty summary report, which is my job, right? Let's even broaden the searching criteria. So rather than searching log file for a specific directory, I do not specify any directory. I leave it. like this and i run it now it will take more time but it will create a log file for multiple directory it may even take 10 15 minutes as well depends upon the volume of log file you have because i had did not specify any directory it will diagonistic look into this folder under all logs under user project all log it look the log file under this it look log file under middleware epm um diagonistics logs under all these log files the right, database log file supporting component log files it also see the log file under server apm system 1 so system is going to look at the log file fall on different category different path as well installation log and all kind of logs product server diagonistics log you know the multiple log files are being accessed it would have completed by now let's see the log file got created okay and i could see the summary report over here under middleware user project diagonistics report sorry diagonistic reports and see this report is 631 kb So number of log file scan 232. Time taken 25 second. Total errors found 167 error and total incidents is two. Now I can confine my focus and see the what error kind of error I like to look into and to go through each error and see whether it this is the error we were looking into or not. For example, null point exception and miss in missing record. Right. This is one error we are looking into. So this way you can confine in terms of time, in terms of directory structure, in terms of string as well. So I've seen one example of time and directory structure. Let's see. Rather than looking all log file, I like to further confine my focus to a specific category of error. So error I can pass as a string minus s under double quotes pass your string parameter. Right. This time it will create log file for all the directories. only for this error message right because i got a lot of error message some of them may not be relevant to my purpose so um, we are further confining our focus with a specific string right it takes further some more time it is still rendering right a string and the last parameter which you can try on your own you can further define the output rather than you want the report to be created in a defined location on a diagonistic report you can define your own path and name of the uh, you can define the name of your own log file sorry 
and also you can control the size of the log file and the max size you can define it so see the log file has been created log file report has been created with the error message java util missing resource exception i double click on this and 232 log files and we scan 25 second has been taken and these are the log files the list of log files where these issues are found right no found the kind of error message may not be system error because the combination of we use we say system error system error today date right i can further delete the system error it was the incidence as well so you can the various combination of date time string and figure out the piece of error message you are looking into this way you can use a log analysis utility right so that's it for today when you're looking the log file make sure what kind of error you're looking into there are three category of error as i said system error which talk about error pertaining to inter component communication error like your database is down right or your services you are trying to communicate is down it's a simple example of inter component communication error your direct directory communication you are using network directory network folder and it doesn't exist which the system is true then you have a functional error as well right warning message notification trace list and context execution error so you define what kind of error you are looking into when you define your log analysis utility as well and with time and practice you can get a expertise so this was the basic introduction of log analysis utility okay uh, subscribe to our youtube channel in a subsequent video we'll talk about your more detail how to debug advanced uh, errors using log analysis utility so thanks for watching today video should you have any question please please feel free to reach out to us thank you